All right, and welcome to episode 100. A very special episode for a very special number, I guess. I don't know where I was going, but um, yeah. Uh, I did not plan this, but it is very fitting that this episode is episode 100. This is probably my, one of my favorite parts of the whole game, just in terms of lore and how everything connects together. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Let's go. The secrets behind this nightmare realm have been locked away. Thumbs. The fragments of your minds have been lost, haven't they? Do you truly know who you are? Learn the truth behind your past. Unlock the final lock. Warning! Tornado warning in Spotlight City area. Hailing in Kugirin. Strong thunderstorms in Route 4. Hailing in Sheridan. Hail in Hiyoshi. Thunderstorms in Hiyoshi. Strong winds in Hiyoshi. Tornado in Hiyoshi. Um, basically, things are bad. Um... Multiple reports of hazardous weather reported all around Avium. The Avium Disaster Administration has set up ship, evacuation ships at all ports available. Seek shelter or evacuate. Seek shelter or evacuate. What are we going to do? We're all going to die if we stay here. Cool it, Axel. We don't need you to scare everyone. Let's just keep calm and let's make it to the ports. And here we go. All of the characters that we could have chosen from. Are we abandoning our home again? It seems we have no choice yet again. N no. We cannot allow ourselves to fall into despair. We must prevail. If we work together, I'm sure we can make it out of any situation. And hello there, Crescent. G guys, things are outside are getting really, really bad. If we're going to evacuate, then we need to get to shelter right now. Th that was an earthquake. That felt strong, too. You heard, Crescent? We can't stay around here any longer. No more screwing around. Let's move. Here we go. Ah, uh, and this track, too. Ooh. Why are you here? This isn't what I wanted. I guess I can't th stay asleep forever, though. No matter how much I want to run away, I'll show you our story. My name is Crescent. I came here from the Mira region. I go to a school called Phoenix Academy in Spotlight City. All of the kids in this school are the ones that have lost or have no guardians due to the fallout in the Mira region. Each class is small and I prefer it that way. In my class there's Avis, Avia, Aria, Axel, Elaine, Aero, and Anna. Who we did not see in the picture there. Well that's, well, that's what it was in the beginning. We're all placed in the same class because our names start with the letter A. How did I get in this class then? Don't worry about it. Anyway, something about having similarities builds bonds or whatever the principal said. Wouldn't us being here under the circumstance of losing our relatives be enough? In that case, that would make me invalid. After all, my parents. And that's all we can learn. Let's keep going. Aria! What is that thing? It looks like an Ultra Beast. But how's the Nihilego here? Uh... It transformed. Aria, get away from that. Aria! That's it for Alligator Aquatail. It didn't take any damage whatsoever. G guys, run. Forget about me. Uh, Ariana, no! N no way. Axel, 
It, it's too late for her. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Hurry. When this happened, I couldn't believe my eyes. To think we thought the storm was one thing keeping us away from survival. It turns out that Ultra Bees, particularly Nihilego, have been running amok. And for some reason, they were transforming. We should keep going. There's more to see. Ariana was the peppy girl who loved all things school spirit. At first I thought her optimism would tear away at me, but she was always so nice to me, and when I was and when I needed help, she was always there. She and her brother Axel loved and hated each other in equal amount. But I guess that's just how siblings are, right? They were always together. I was envious of them. I once had a brother as well, Moon. We weren't close at all, but that's all there is to say on that. Nothing in here, it looks like. Avia, hold on. We'll get you out of this. These things won't budge. It's latched on too strong. It, try harder. Avis, it's okay. We, we know there's nothing we can do. I won't give up on you, Avia. Avis. No. Avia is a quiet, reserved, and a bit of a genius. Master at playing the piano and baking. Though she's insanely shy and gets herself into rough situations with strangers because of it. I remember once Elaine gave Avia a taser to see what would happen. In a panic, Avia tased around five people and an old lady because of it. She has issues, but she's sweet. I like her a lot. Avia's body has turned to stone. No way. This has got to be a joke. No way I got ambushed this easily. Wow, out memed by a stupid jellyfish. How embarrassing can it get? No. If I could compare Axel to a Pokemon, it would be an Impidimp. He is Chaos Incarnate, a prankster that believes there are no limits to a joke. Avia finds it hard to like him, but I'm sure she still loves him like we all do. In a Axel what the hell did you do this time kind of way. He's very fond of his sister Ariana, and as a result she's a victim of a lot of his pranks. Hopefully he doesn't take a prank too far. That will be his demise. A fitting death, though. Axel's body has turned to stone. Ah! No! Arrow, why'd you push me out of the way? I didn't ask you to sacrifice yourself. Why? Why are you always so difficult? Sorry, couldn't let get to you. You always understood me more than anyone else. I value our friendship to the highest degree. Well, thanks for making my life worth living, Elaine. It was fun. You bastard. I'll never, I'll never forgive you, Arrow. Crescent, Elaine, it's just us now. We have to keep going. I understand. Hero is the silent but strong type. He was really popular in our school, much to his chagrin. He just wanted to live life with his best friend Elaine. Arrow is also the strongest trainer among our group. If there was anything we couldn't do in Arrow in battle, Arrow could definitely pull it off. He's really admirable. I 
I made it this far because I'm strong. Used to be selfish and self-centered, but I won't let that be the case anymore. Protecting my friends is all that matters to me now. Elaine. So you're gonna fight, you dumb piece of shit jellyfish? Let's go right now. I... I am strong. I... No, wait, wait. Elaine isn't very popular at our school because she's kind of scary. At first she didn't even like us, but after some time she opened up. I've noticed that she's super protective over the one she loves. And have you ever heard said loved ones? She'd hunt you down without restraint. She protected Axel from being bullied a few years ago. Axel thinks he could have handled him himself, but I know he appreciates it anyway. That's it. And then there were two. Damn, those earthquakes tore up the only way out of here. It's not looking good for us, is it, Crescent? It, it isn't over, Avis. We can keep going. Down there? Could it be? Huh? This has to be done. Crescent? Avis? These past few months with you have been the best ever. Feel like we really bonded and learned a lot from each other. Even through bad times, we always stuck it out. I believe that each life in this world is precious. But in this instance, I must forgo that stance and sacrifice one. S sacrifice Avis, what are you? Crescent, you are my best friend. I want you to survive. More than anything else, you must survive. Avis, forgive me for being selfish. I hope you won't forget about me either. Ah! Survived Crescent. That's all I want. Sorry for being so selfish in the end. And then there was one. And here we are. Seeing all that again. It was painful for the second time. But what I saw was... Was wrong? It didn't go exactly like that. The puppet master creates nightmare realms using data. But I guess this one was kind of erroneous. Still, the end result is the same. And I guess that's all we really need right now. What a terrifying event Storm 9 was. We expected something to happen due to the very strange weather, but what we experienced was hell on earth. And now that same hell is facing me again. You came here to wake us up, didn't you? We don't want to wake up. We don't want to go back. That's what our contract was for. I've always had pride in my leadership skills, you know? But today's event has put a stain on my record. I have to make up for lost time, and for all my failures. Thumbs, we refuse. Here we go. Mm, this actually is a really bad matchup. Mm, am I down to just press stealth rocks though? Is it worth getting stealth rocks up for a free switch in into say like Roseanne? Maybe. I'm gonna go stealth rocks. Oh, it doesn't even KO me. Okay, I'm just gonna splinter storm shards here. I don't think it KOs. Yep, that's just fine. Okay. Lucario comes out. Uh, is it faster? It might be faster than me. 
down to switch to coal here, honestly. We have Rocky Helmet. Oh, Mega Lucario. And that was a crit too. Um, and now to click loose here. Okay, ow. Um, might have to reset here. I don't think any of my Pokemon can take out a Lucario. Maybe Undyne can tank one, actually. Nope. Am I faster? This should be... This will be good to know. I am not. Okay. Good to know. Um. Okay. Uh, good to know. Okay. Uh, let's reset. Turns five. As long as it doesn't crit, I'm I'm just gonna stall out the uh, Aeronite wall. Okay, this is the last turn. My tailwind here. That's really close. Nice. Oh, I should have just roosted. Out comes Huntail. I'm down to just press Tailwind here. Okay, it's not gonna... That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna Ceaseless Edge. It's gonna Shell Smash. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, I missed. Oh, that was such a bad time to miss. Okay, perfect. And Sucker Punch. Nice. Lycan Rock comes out. Um, does Roseanne tank a hit from Lycan Rock? Maybe. I know it's gonna be like a speed tie between me and that one. Um, okay, we'll just risk it. I'll just Sucker Punch, Stone Edge, oh, Life Orb damage, okay. Go to Gina now, Decidueye comes out. I'm down to just Splintered Storm Shards, this thing. Out comes Sylveon, Spikes and Stealth Rocks, Acela Rock. Oh, that was close, okay. We should win this though. Yep, nice. There we go. That is uh this battle complete. And that settles it. <laughs> Looks like I lost. Even now. <laughs> if Axel were here, he'd laugh in my face and tell me to try again next time. What an ass that guy is. <laughs> Get away. It's gonna be okay. But what if it won't be? We have to face Storm Knight again. Face that horror. We risk losing all our friends once again. Melia, Aelita, Ren, Eren, everyone. Everyone we know. They're all going to die. We'll do this together. Why do I have to? We have been forced into a role that we wish to have no part in. A role that cannot be fulfilled by us. We asked for help. Wasn't that in our contract? I'm on your side here. I know. I know you're on our side. You always have been from the beginning. From the very beginning. I, s I see. Let's wake up together. 
I'm sorry. We can't hide anymore, can we? This is our duty. No matter what. We understand now, Thumbs. We, we understand. We're sorry. And back to the beginning. There. That should do it. It took me a long time to gather your soul, but it was all worth it. Avis, please come back to me. We'll be together. Avis! Avis, you're back! You're finally back! I'm so glad. After everything, I finally have you back in this world again. But uh, why? We'll be okay. We're not in danger anymore. It was a bit of a task to get to this point, but we can start over at last. As long as I'm able to take care of the loose ends, then everything should be fall in, be able to fall into place. All we have to do is... A crescent, why did you bring me back to life? Uh-huh. Aren't you happy? I gave you back your life. We can continue to live our lives now. Crescent... What you've done is very, very wrong. I understand your thoughts, but have you considered how I feel? What if I didn't want to come back? What are you talking about? I did this for you. I did this for us. You should be happy that I went through all the trouble to do this. Uh, my head. There's so many voices in my head. Crescent. I, I don't understand what's happening. You shouldn't be hearing things in your head. Maybe it's a side effect of the black device? Please sleep for a while. You'll feel better after you rest, I can promise you that. The the voices, they've stopped. What were they in the first place? Greetings. Who are you? I could ask you the same question, Avis. No, you aren't quite Avis. You're much more than that. The voices in your head may be chaotic and loud, but they are not unfamiliar, yes? What do you want with me? I am here because of your potential. This world won't last in its current state. If left to continue, it would be destroyed by evil forces. I am here to ask you for help. Us? Correct. You fit the criteria for my next interceptor. One who can change fate itself. One who lives outside my own control. And with your potential, I believe a good future may be possible. No. We don't want any of that, can't you see? We don't want to be this interceptor. We understand that this world is on its path for ruin, but we just can't do it. We're all just so... tired? I understand. Your experiences with Storm Nine and Deadly Hilego have torn away at yourself and spirit. You lack the ambition to bring out the potential and use its capabilities. Very well then. Allow me to offer you a deal. A contract, if you will. Whether or not you choose to accept being the next Interceptor, that is what you will be. However, I can call someone else for help. And they'll do your duties for you. Do our duties for us? Correct. A being not from this world will inhabit your mind. As a result, you all will sleep deeply in the subconsciousness of this individual. You will be able to put your soul to rest. However, there is a caveat to this particular deal. In doing so, the power of the role of an interceptor would present to you would be cut in half. Additionally, you will lose control of your body permanently. Even if you are to wake up again somehow, this fact will not change. It would be equivalent to a second death. Do you understand? What about Crescent, our friend? We can't just abandon her. Not again. She will be fine. I have a feeling it will work out somehow. This is based off data on her character. What may actually happen is up in the air. You'll just have to take my word on this one. We would want nothing less than a perfect future for the people of this world. But our time on this planet has expired. We do not belong here. And as such, we accept this offer. Then it is a contract. You, Avis, will be replaced by Thumbs. 
then it is a contract. You, Thumbs, have replaced... My Interceptor, you will have no memory of this meeting. I will edit this world to fit your existence and criteria. Crescent will now call you by Thumbs, as that is what she knows you by from this moment on. And you will bring prosperity and peace to the land of Avium. No. To this world. To all worlds. You will be its saving grace. O oh, Interceptor, Great Interceptor, change our fate, as that is your nature. And there it is. Oh, I love that. I love that a little bit so much. There's so much like fourth wall breaking, but not really because that's part of the game. Ah, oh, such a like a nice little twist on the uh, why the protagonist character is the way the protagonist character is. But yeah, uh, the the team that you fight will change depending on who you shows, um, which is fun. Thumbs, you did it. All the locks have been undone. The encryption placed upon this realm by Clear and Kieran are completely gone. I know what I put you all through as well. Rough. I put you all through some dangerous and life-threatening tasks. But with this, you changed the world. Thank you. I will repay this debt. I promise. Meanwhile, Hazuki, what is the meaning of all this? Darling, you know me. I can be such a pain sometimes. Those are your words, not mine. Whatever is going on, we can talk this through. Silence. You do not have the authority to bargain here. Thomas Blakery Jr. How dare you speak to me in such a way after I took you in when you were young. But Thomas is right, dear. You have absolutely no authority. Why am I here? What purpose do you want me to fulfill? We'll get to that. Hm. I don't know why Miss Von Brandt is here, but she won't be an issue. I get in these types of situations a lot, it seems. Don't worry your pretty gray head about it. Don't worry, Saki. I'm thinking of a way out of this. Hazuki, please. A couple of months ago, dear Hazuki went to sleep after a long day of work. She dreamed as she would of another day another life. Until in this dream, a man in a mask appeared. They called him the Puppet Master. The Puppet Master showed Hazuki a lot of interesting things. Things that would change Hazuki's life forever. Dreams? Puppet Master? What on earth? Do you want to know what I learned? I learned that Mr. Blake here was nothing more than a human worth less than shit. A man who manipulated everyone he came across. Even naive all Hazuki, at the age of 25. Of course, you must remember Storm 9. Do you remember how you found me unconscious after a perilous battle? Do you remember what you told me? I, I recall saying something about your friends. You said my friends has res were, had rescued and ordered me to get on the nearest evacuation ship. And me, being far too naive for my own good, trusted your words. We got on that boat and with your little suitcase, and I never saw my friends again. It was a lie. All of it. My friends were still fighting down in the ruins. That's what the Puppet Master showed me. The one thing I've regretted all my life is that I didn't do more that day. An intrusive thought quelled by the reasoning that I couldn't. It turns out that was not the case. I was manipulated by the man I loved. I... There's more. The reason why you lied to get me on that ship wasn't because you cared for me. It was because the only way you... I was the only way you could force myself, yourself into my family's wealth. And if the storm overpowered and killed me, well, then there would be no one to marry, right? Zuki, that isn't true. I love you. Once Hazuki and I are married, our financial situation will be reversed. The Blake Uries will claim its throne at the top of the corporate world. Th that voice memo. This is you, right? I remember your young voice very well. Fabricated. That was created to frame me. Yes, yes, I believe the fact that you got your father killed is fabricated too. 
The fact that you and Cassandra are tied into Team Zen's affair in some way fabricated? Azuki, where did you learn that? So it's true, then. You don't know the circumstances of this. Circumstances doesn't matter. Now, Saki, you are the heiress to the Blake Yuri's assets and foundations. All the terrible things your grandfather has done will fall onto you. But you can be free from this disgusting curse. To do this, you will kill Thomas Berand Blakeyary. What? Kill? Grandmother, this isn't what we discussed. Quiet. I didn't had I didn't say you had the authority to ship in. Kill? I don't why me? Out of everything in out of everyone in this world, I think you're the one he actually cares for. If you were the one to sever ties, then it would break him. I want to see his face change as he realizes he's about to die. I want to see his face change when he realizes his own beloved granddaughter was the one to do it. I want to see his face change when he realizes all the atrocity he's committed. Come right back at him in one fell swoop. Do it, Saki. End his reign of terror right now. Saki? By the way, your dear grandpa is the reason why all your friends suffered in the first place. He rigged things in your favor. She did your way up the ladder. The device you created for the top-notch student competition was supposed to be in third place. I wonder how many potential futures he's ruined because of that. Your life has been one he's designed from the beginning. In a way, your life wasn't truly yours. Just an extension of his own. Saki, don't. Being a murderer won't solve anything. Do you remember the East Gear and Fire? When it was done, all the blame was put on me and even after Venom's dad took responsibility. Ever since then, people would look at me differently, with cold eyes. They looked at me like I was subhuman trash, as if I was a monster. If you do this, you will be looked at with those same cold eyes. Nonsense. A death in the Nightmare Realm equals a clean death in real life. There will be no trace of Saki's involvement in such a deed. She is on the side of justice. Even still... Saki, you're better than this. You always get yourself into wacky hijinks and odd scenarios. Even if you end up hurting someone, you always find a way to make things better. Please, I'm begging you, don't do what Hazuki asks of you. The cycle of evil within the family, Blake, your family, won't end. It'll continue. If you want to change things, you can. You are the heiress to the Blakeyery Corporation. Stand up and make a change for yourself. Amber. Thomas, tighten her restraints. That will shut her up. Don't you dare. Hey! Uh, that should keep you from misbehaving. Now, Saki, it's time. End all of this. You're a coward. You're nothing more than a coward, Hazuki. To push Saki to make such a heinous decision... If you really wanted justice, you'd just turn him in for his crimes and be done with it. No. You want bloody revenge. You're making someone else dirty their hands for you. Isn't that just like Mr. Blake Yuri, you hypocrite? You're just as corrupt as any other corporate trash out there. You sicken me. Just... Disgusting child. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have those cold eyes, too. Your eyes are of someone who has nothing else to lose. Azuki died all that time ago. The person in front of me is just a corpse without a soul. You... Oh, look at that. Ropes come undone. Don't get so easily baited next time. Let's get out of here. Follow me. I know a way out of the Nightmare Realm. I'm so confused. What the heck is happening here? We'll explain later. First we gotta wake up. And now, now, children, just where are we going? Let's have a chat. Uh-huh. Thumbs, you did it. Way to go, Thumbs. Knew you could do it. I was skeptical, but Risa said she'd beat the shit out of me if I continued to be. Uh-huh. The Puppet Master has to actually retrieve the data. Yeah, and we also need to deal with Claire and Kieran's data. Right, right? What do you two have to say for yourselves? She's concentrating, don't mind her. Concentrating on what? 
Can I ask you a question, Aelita? Could you perhaps be the traitor? Ha, huh, thought so. The traitor? You? You were the traitor, Aelita? Yeah, it's true, I am the traitor, but me being traitor only means I knew this game was happening beforehand. When everyone went to sleep last night, Hazuki stopped me before going to bed. She told me that she already caught everyone in her trap and that I had to play along. If I did, I would have the chance to corner someone who I've been hunting. I assumed this person would be me. Yes, but I had no choice in this manner. If I hadn't joined, the game would have been impossible to complete. Truthfully, the word traitor doesn't even really apply to Elida. We just threw the word out to stir up the pot for Clear and Kieran. Why Risa? Why did you impersonate her when you already look so much like Zara? It's simple. She was a valuable asset. Her connection with Mr. Blake Gurry, her income and status in this region, all played favorably for me. You use my face, my identity, for such an evil reason? I will never forgive you for this. Your forgiveness is pointless and unwanted anyway. It's also because she was popular amongst the gym leaders in GDC, isn't it? I've been thinking about the change in MO. Originally, Zara targeted people with the GP same GPA as Saki Blake Yuri. After she was killed, almost all her victims were gym leaders. Talum, Venom, Akane, Saki, Adam, Valerie. These are the people who have been hurt by your schemes. Sharp. You're absolutely correct. Thinning out Celine's army is vital. Celine's army? Thumbs, you learned about yourself in that nightmare realm, yes? Allow me to offer a trade for information. In your nightmare realm, Avid said that the events in there didn't play out the same way. Do you want to know why? Uh, honestly, I'm kind of okay. Unfortunately, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Listen up. There was something I omitted from my original story. There were actually three of us in the beginning. Me, Kieran, and our third partner, Eden. Third member? There were three of you? Yes, and do you know why we use the word were in this context? It's because Crescent destroyed them. Eden was doing data on past Avium and she came into contact with that feral cat. Ever since then, Crescent and the two of us had some sort of rivalry. But that's besides the point. Right, there was something that little Saki and Amber didn't get the chance to bring up earlier. Why did we kidnap Saki, Adam, and Valerie and put them into pods? Thumbs saw this as well, so I'll ask them. Thumbs, why did we put all three of them in a pod? It's to test something. Ding ding ding, you are correct. We used them as a way to test out our newest experiment. Using the matter cubes, we were trying to see if we could take the consciousness of a certain person and move them over to an entirely new body. You move their consciousness into a new body? That means the Adam, Valerie, and Saki we've interacted with are just copies. Their real selves are sleeping away in those same pods. Their minds are walking around in dolls we've created for them. But why? Why do all of this? Longevity. After Eden was destroyed, we became aware of our mortality. If we're destroyed, the mission is over. So what if we just transferred our collective consciousness over to a new body when ours get destroyed? Or better yet, what if we were able to copy our minds and store it in a database, which would allow us to make as many copies as a, of ourselves as needed? That's why you uploaded your data to the Lix Legosomnia engine. In the event that you were destroyed, a new version of you would just pop out instantly. Correct. We tried to upload Eden's data too, but his drive was too far gone. The data we could enter was incomplete, disjointed, and fractured. It's why Thumb's Nightmare Realm was far more ab abstract than the others. You two. You two are in inhumane monsters. Because we're not the same as you. In that case, you should reevaluate things as one of your best friend would classify as a monster too. Uh huh? Here, we'll give you a peek. What did you just do? 
I implanted the events of Thumb's Nightmare Realm experience into your mind. Like a roll of film to a projector, it's all there for your viewing. This Thumb's your... a result of our perfected experiment, an illustrious example of our exemplary work. I say before that my procedure is seamless, painless, and impossible to differentiate. This entire time you've been friends with a deceased individual stuck inside of a doll. Thumbs, I'm... I'm sorry. Um, I mean, it's alright. You know, it's fine. I'm so sorry. She just riled me up, and she knew that. I won't misspeak again. A little experiment for me. Could you all describe Thumbs to me? Hmm? Just do it? Um, Thumbs has dark brown hair, mostly wears green. Also has green eyes. Huh? Elida, Thumbs is a girl and nothing what you described. What are you talking about? Yeah, Thumbs has pretty pink hair and a blue jacket around her waist. And her eyes are pink, not green. What? Thumbs has white hair and dark clothes. Have you two lost your minds or something? So yeah, uh, so far, everyone we've met has seen us as a different person. Which is insanely interesting to me. It's as I suspected. Thumb's soul is made up of several different ones, particularly the people you saw in the Nightmare Realm. How interesting. And that's enough for now. Our trade is complete. Here you go again with this trade business. Explain everything you know. We traded information for time. You all know what I mean in three, two, one. No. Risa, what's going on? Kieran and Clear are trying to stop the Puppet Master from hacking their data in the real world. Entities of the Ligosomnia engine cannot interfere with the machine. We're not able to intervene their inputs. Correct. You are powerless here. Damn it, what about the reinforcements the Puppet Master set up? You mean that sassy fox, the nerdy kid, and the other two who don't matter? A non-issue for us. Um, this is bad. Risa, Seda, Zek, wake all of us up. We can do something about this. Waking you up will take too long. It takes time to bring multiple people out of the Nightmare Realm. Send Thumbs and Elida. We can wait here. Agreed. They're most adept for this situation. Right, right, okay. I'll wake Thumbs and Elida up. Thumbs, let's wake up. We're the only ones who can do this. The way to the Lake Osomnia engine is through the secret channel underneath uh, the fountain. So hurry up. Wow. Looks like Amber was right after all. Here we go. We're back in the real world. We've woken up. Uh, I'm going to once again take a nap, even though we just woke up. Um, and we are going to continue. Uh, I do want to see if I can wrap up. Um, one second. I just lost my train of thought. Yes, I do want to see if I can wrap up uh, the, the thing here. Uh... Okay, here we go. There we go. This... This was... This is just like the place we were just in. Bit different, but it all checks out in some places. Okay, Thumbs, here's the plan. We're gonna have to face clear down here, and it'll be just like on Ecclesia. If that happens, she'll try to some sort of trick to put us against each other. Let's have a code word or something just in case that happens. That way we'll know it's each other for sure. Let's go with Petcha Party. Yeah, let's go with Petcha Party. That's a good one. Okay, Thumbs, we gotta move. Excuse me? I excuse me, but I need your help. Valerie? Um, I'm sorry, but have we met before? Anyway, that's not important. I need your help. I was attacked. I was talking to a group of individuals when suddenly we were attacked. They were wearing these weird jumpsuits and were riding these high-tech like vehicles. Clear and Kieran. They fought for they fought us for a while and they suddenly backed off in a hurry. The other people ran down here after them, but I don't know if they can handle it on their own. Don't worry, we'll go help them out. So you just stay here, okay? Understood. Thank you very much. Alright, um... Let's do this then. Uh, so yeah, um, couple of doors here, but they're all, like, locked-ish, so... 
Oh no. Oh, wait, you're not. Ah, uh, hello there. Sek, are you on our side? Highly doubtful. Yep, okay. Uh huh. So yeah, um, once again, we're back in, uh, back in battle with Sek again. I'm gonna sell a rock here. Oh wow, that didn't even KO. Okay. Wow, I... You do no damage to this thing. Um... There we go. Probably has Eviolite, I guess. Uh, we'll just Aura Sphere. That's gonna KO us, isn't it? Yep. Okay. It's fine. Um, a shop. We can catch this. Uh... There we go. Bye, sec. Uh huh. Yep, we've we've had to do that a lot of times already. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Unfortunately, some of the doors are still locked. Um. Because we're not quite done yet with uh, the this section, so All right, let's keep going. Hey, Valerie. So yeah, uh, there is also this room up here, but there's not really anything here. There's some drones on the side here. Firestone, a couple of uh, SEC components. Yep, I am just going to uh, skip through the dialogue because honestly, it's just sec. It's whatever, right? Bye bye. Cling clang. Uh, we're gonna U turn out. Air balloon was popped, which is nice. Gear grind. They missed. We earth power here. Clobopus. Uh, well, we're just gonna catch you. I missed. Nice. So before I go, do you like shredded cheese or...? <laughs> and she says yay as she leaves. Yeah, she doesn't have a great uh, ex experience. Is that the word for it? All right, and here we go. Um, Adam, Delphox, and Eric. Hey, Lita, thank goodness you're here. We're kind of in a trouble, trouble kind of situation. Thumbs, and the other girl, you gotta help me out. It's that girl with the red hair. She's using her tricks again. N no, don't fall for her trick, Thumbs. She's trying to divide us. Super not cool and ultra lame. Uh-huh. So yeah, we have two Eric's here. Normally I'd be able to differentiate illusions, but she's using another object as a base for her illusions to make it more difficult. But it's strange. Even though she's in the area, I can't sense her ahead. What do you mean? Thumbs, there you are. I've been looking... What the heck? Really clear, one scheme isn't enough for you. Don't call me clear. Then why are you just showing up at the most convenient time? Thumbs, don't you find that a little suspicious? Took me a bit longer to wake up, that's all. I ran down here as fast as I could. Delphox dumps Adam back me up here. This sucks. What do we do? We'll start with Eric first. Thumbs, you must know Eric, right? Uh-huh. Okay, uh... Okay, Eric won. What's your favorite character? Anime. Uh-huh. What's your gym field? Murkwater. Okay, favorite invention? Sakitron. Okay. How about Eric 2? What's your favorite character? Annie Mae. What's your gym field? Murkwater field. Favorite invention? Annie Mae. So yeah, Annie Mae is spelled differently 
which is kind of the hint here. Um, so yeah, uh, it is Eric too is the imposter. I think, if I remember right. That one's gotta be the imposter then, right? Alright, let's see how this goes. Be gone, imposter. Ouch. Yeah, you guys got it right. So rude. Yep, no problem, Eric. So yeah, uh, anime is spelled M-A-E. No time. As we speak, Kieran is interfering with the Le Lego Somnia engine. If we don't hurry, all their data will be wiped from the drive. That's what I was going to say. We can't waste any more time. Thumbs, you're going to have to choose. I believe in you. Shouldn't notice something from beforehand, Thumbs. She slipped. Thumbs, remember. Petcha party. Who was the imposter? Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, the, the imposter is Alita 1. Um, Alita 1, it, there was the imposter from the very beginning. Thumbs, I knew you could figure it out. Impressive. I didn't expect such a long haul trick to be exposed so easily. It was foolish of me to underestimate the interceptor after all. Alita, you claimed that I slipped before. What is it? You refer to Delpha as Delphox. I always refer to Delphox as Delpha. Interesting. I suppose you're right. My lack of data on the relationship failed me. After her. Ah, clear. Always making me work for my gratification. There's no growth from easy wins. Aha, says you. Now you're revealed. You're powerless against me. Perhaps. However, I still have my trump card to play. Don't underestimate me. Let's play, Tough Puff. So yeah, her... Jigglypuff is actually a Nugganadle. So here we go. Um, so we'll be battling her by ourselves. Uh, there's Intimidate. I'm down to just Stealth Rocks here. Wow, that actually KOs. Um, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to protect, see what it wants to do. It's going to return. I think Life Orb, yeah, Life Orb Aura Sphere is enough there. Miss Magius comes out. It's probably going to Psy Shock me or something. Now I'm just switch Undyne here. Oh, it's going to D-Gleam. Okay. Was not expecting that. Um. Now to Sword Stance. Bullet Punch should be a KO. Out comes Porygon Z. Um, down to Bullet Punch again. Oh wow, that didn't KO. Uh, I should be faster still, though. Oh, it's faster than me. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Let me just check all her Pokemon first. Clink Clank comes out. Um, if I'm not paralyzed, I think I could actually do that. But this is fine. Um, okay. Let me reset, and uh, I'll have to go through that whole conversation again. So, be right back. Okay. If that comes out, that's fine. Oh, right, it's gonna shift gear twice, I forgot. Or it's gonna just do it once. Out comes this Magus, bullet punch KOs here. Nice. Out comes Nugganadle. Um. Do I just bullet punch for damage? I think I just bullet punch for damage. Yep, Dragon Pulse comes out. This is fine. It's at plus one speed now. Uh, the question is, does it KO... No, I just go here. It's getting Nasty Plot, which is annoying, but T-Wave... Oh, missing... Missing there is so bad. Um... Okay, it's at plus two speed and paralysis. We should be okay, though. Okay. 
Sucker Punch should be enough here. Nice. Last one is Behem, which we can take out pretty easily. Flash Cannon. Nice. Finish it off. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the Naginado is kind of annoying, but Paralysis helps. Um, priority really, really helps, especially with that much speed. Um, there are a couple of setup fodders that you can set up on as well, so yeah. Thumbs defeated, clear. No regrets. Amazing job, Thumbs. We won, clear. You failed. Back away from the Lego Somnia engine right now. Failed. Winning that battle was never the objective. Sometimes you have to lose to win. I thought you learned that lesson on Ecclesia. And done. All of the data has been successfully wiped. N no. We win. We failed. No. Failure? My plan failed. No. I won't give up. I won't give up. I won't give up. I won't give up. Thomas, I thought you were the one under the in the puppet master suit. I thought I was too. Looks like we've found our illegal player. Illegal? I was invited here by the puppet master. Saki Blake Yuri won't be the one to kill Mr. Blake Yuri. I will. R Rodia? The community manager? Thanks for remembering me. I know I stay hidden in the shadows, but today I'm here on invitation. Like I said before. You're here to kill Mr. Blake Yuri? Why? Haven't you heard enough reasons for why Mr. Blake Yuri should die? But if you need a reason, then fine. It's simple. Mr. Blake Yuri is the reason why I'm here. Figuratively and literally. Do you remember me, Mr. Blake Yuri? Remember you? I just said who you were. Oh, sorry. I guess that question was a bit too vague without context. Allow me to provide that context for you, sir. Hello, citizens of Hiyoshi City. I would like to welcome you all. I am very excited to unveil a project me and my team have been working on for many years. Just five years ago, Hiyoshi City was constructed after our beloved home region was destroyed. Even in the face of adversity, we move on. Those words. Oh, so you remember them. I do too. But, but how? How could you remember those words from a time before you were born? It's because I was alive then. In fact, I was on stage. The stage where my father unveiled the project for Grand Dream City. Uh, are you telling me you're little Sandy? The mayor's daughter? I impossible. You would be almost as old as me if that were the case. Anger and hatred ages a girl differently. What can I say? I see. If this is your resolve, then allow me to join. Oh no, you're dying too. You've enabled this man for decades and sat idly by while he corrupted his way into more power. You're just as guilty as he is. What the... Fuck. Are you gonna kill all of us for his shitty existence? Correct. And I will take great pleasure in killing Saki Blake Yuri as well. The way she ran around acting like she worked hard for what she's accomplished. The Blake Yuri's know nothing more than to trample over everyone to get to the top. The Puppet Master gave me this opportunity. It will not go to waste. I assure you of that. P please stop. I'm sorry. Let's make this quick. I didn't come here to talk. Gather in the center of the room right now. Don't get any ideas. I'm not playing. I... I can't move. Obviously, I didn't mean you. I know you're bound to you, the chair. This is the idiot who managed to get this far. How oh, am I not surprised? Thomas, how could you leave this be thing behind? So, so careless. So you're just gonna blow us up with a techno blast. What exactly will you accomplish with that? You sure do love to talk when no one asked you to, huh? Genesect, begin to charge up. Shit. Saki, we're gonna make a move or something. Saki, come on, you can't just shut down on me. Just how many people did my family hurt? 
how much hatred was born because of my name. How many dreams were destroyed for our advancement, Saki? So here's the thing. It's a lot. This world, in a way, is a product of that hatred. And with that... Uh, what's going on? Saki! Amber! Here we go. Eric, what's going on? I don't know, but this computer's going haywire. Kieran must have done something to it. N no, whatever this is, it's... Screw the machine, we need to get the heck out of here. Right, come on, let's move. Dream a dream so grand it becomes a nightmare. Dream a dream so grand it becomes a nightmare. Becomes a nightmare. Huh. Whew. What the heck was all of that? I did not get expected to th be thrown into Mr. Nightmare's house of fun like that. I don't have an answer for you, sorry. Wait a minute, where's Adam and Delpha? I swear they were just right behind me. Maybe they didn't make it. Right, so before I say anything else, anyone gonna tell me what's going on here? Yeah, uh, so long story short, there's like a bunch of stuff going on and uh, we're here for the Platinum component, but then the Puppet Master intervened and then um, they invited you to try to stop Clear and Kieran. Obviously that didn't work. <laughs> we are so screwed. If the Lego Somnia engine can project dreams into a digital plane, then with enough power, it's possible, probably possible to bring dreams into reality. And judging by the look of things, that's exactly what's happening. Dreams are becoming a reality. That can't be good. Of course it's not good. When dreams and reality mesh, it would be impossible to distinguish them. And it's not going to just engulf Axis High. It's going to grow until it takes over the entirety of Grand Dream City. Then Route 9, Route 10, 7, 8, West Gearing, East Gearing, Terajuma. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that's bad. Uh-huh. I don't think the engine exists anymore. The machine itself is the dream world. So find the puppet master and stop him. Got it. Let's go, Thumbs. It's show time. Wait, you can't be serious. Going back there is crazy. Well, not like we got any other choice. This is a threat that cannot be allowed to exist. Imagine if Team Zen got into contact with this world and found a way to control it. That would be nothing. There would be nothing we can do to fight against that. Besides, I'm going to be Sensei of Sheridan Village one day. I'm going to have to face all my problems head on if I want to succeed. You're going to lose your head if you do that. Maybe so. Still, I've made up my mind. We have friends in there we need to save. I'm going to, of course. Yep. Alright, head on out. So yeah, um, there's a high Volta here. Um, but yeah, uh, you can now fly away. Like, you can now fly places. And things like that. Um, it is forced to be night though. So there is that. But yeah. That's where I'm going to end this part. Next time. We're heading into the nightmare. I'll see you guys then.